Hey, what's up? Sasha here, and I just uploaded uh, an exclusive, juicy piece of content to the Infinite Man Academy, and it was so good! I actually felt guilty for not, not putting some of it up on my channel. So uh, here's a clip that I think is probably the best clip, and it's me just talking about and getting into, you know, stripping away the fears, the limiting beliefs that we have that prevent us from truly figuring out who we are on the planet, what are we doing here, and how do we live that passion fully so we can just be happy ass human beings every single day of our lives. It's pretty epic. Check it out. When you rather spend your time doing something that you love. That's it. That's, that's really what it comes down to. And, that's, and I think that's the most important message. And this is why, you know, in the last whatever while, I've just been like, I don't want to be fucking just, just, just teaching, you know, seduction pickup. Come on. You know, it's like, okay, yes, it's a nice, important thing. But God, there's so much more, and and yeah. this this message just fucking do what you love. There is nothing more important than that message. There's nothing more important than it, and that's why I have to talk about it and just slap people in the face if they're not doing that. That's the first thing. Like literally, um, you know, from now on, like anyone who comes to us, they want to join the whatever the Infinite Man Academy. They want to take a boot camp, whatever. It's like, hey man, cool. What, what are you doing? What you love? And if the answer is no, go and fix that first. Come back in six months when you're doing what you love. Because, because it doesn't matter what you want to succeed at. If you're not spending your time doing what you love, you're never going to succeed fully. You're never going to be aligned 100% with yourself enough to go and crush it in any area. Because you're not fucking happy. You can't be happy because you're not living your purpose. And so that has to come before everything else. Literally. Oh, I want to get more dates. Are you living your purpose? No. Go and live your purpose. Come back in a year. And when you're living your purpose, then we'll talk about the dates. Literally, that's that's not a joke. That's how it is. People, though. people, uh, whenever they hear "go and do what you love" or um, "you should be doing what you're passionate about," people throw it away and say, "Oh, well, you, it's fine for you to say that, but I've got bills to pay. I need to work this job." So, yeah, okay, you work that job from nine till five, and then what do you do with the rest of your time? You got to do what you love. All that other free time, you're all you, from Friday night at 6 p.m. to Monday morning at 8 a.m., you got to be doing what you love. And then soon, you'll be able to do what you love full time. You'll find a way to make it happen if you really love it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fundamental truth. People always make these excuses. I got a bill to pay, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. There's yeah. so many fucking excuses. Even if you're in, in one of the, the people who genuinely, you know, you have kids to feed, for example, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I understand how you can't just quit your job and start fucking finger painting the next day. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Yeah. But, but there is a plan to be formed. There is a passion to be found. There is time that you can spend developing that skill, doing it, loving it. And even if, even if, look, here's the thing. There's another teaching that really I'm starting to get now. And it's one of the things Bashar has said where I kind of went, yeah, that makes sense. But now I get it on a deeper, and there's so many layers of getting something emotional, like feeling on a, on a soul level, really getting something. It's a different, it's such a difference between hearing it and going, yeah, yeah, that makes sense to, oh, wait a minute. I get this now. I feel this now. So, and one of the, the lesson is, even if, you know, there, for example, with this, you know, with this particular example, even if the thing that you love isn't going to make money, and I, I get it, some things you might love it and you might be great at it, but you're just not going to make a living, just by doing that, just by being in that frequency of doing something you truly love that you're passionate about that brings joy in your body, you're going to get massive benefits from that, even if they're not the benefits that you were expecting. Does that make sense? So even though, yeah, okay, yeah, you're the best finger painter, you're not getting money. You thought, oh, I'm going to get money. You might not get money, but you might get so in line and so passionate that you'll start a little finger painting fucking club and then some people are going to come and do it and you'll make friends and then one of the people in there will be this amazing woman you're going to fall in love with and spend the rest of your life with in perpetual joy. And that came because you connected to her from your little finger fucking painting obsession. You see, is that not just as good or better than oh I wanted to I wanted to do that for, for money. You know? And maybe yeah. and maybe and maybe she's got a job and she's killing it. Maybe she's a fucking lawyer and she'll be like, oh, don't even don't even you don't even have to work. You just finger paint and, and take care of the dog and I'll I'll make the money because I love you so much. See? So you might get this insane benefit 
but you're but it's just not the way you want it. And that's the thing. When when you're doing what you love and you're passionate, your frequency goes up, your joy goes mm-hmm. up, your alignment with yourself in the universe shifts dramatically into a better place, a more positive place, a more a, a place that's closer to truth, which is divine love. That's that is the ultimate truth, absolute love. I've seen it, I've witnessed it. Many people have. That's the truth. So when you're do when you're shifting your life to get into that place of love and contentment and joy and abundance. Even though finger painting is not going to make you 100K a year, it's going to bring you benefits you couldn't and never have even imagined into your life. And it comes from doing what you love and feeling good uh, in every moment of your life. And that's what it comes down to. Exactly that. And, and I want people, people to... are going to recognize when you're that. Exactly. You're that happy. You're going to recognize it. You're going to look yourself yeah. in the mirror and go, I fucking feel happy. I love my life. Lo- yeah, I'm fucking finger painting and people think I'm weird, but I fucking love it. And, and I'm meeting other people who think this is awesome, you know, and I don't give a shit. And I fucking, and even though I'm working a shit job, you know, Monday to Friday, I'm fucking loving my life on the weekends and hey, fucking, I, I don't give yeah. a shit. And that's going to lead to something beautiful. It's going to lead to something beautiful, whether you, whether you recognize it or not, it's going to, because you're getting in line with your, with your own, uh, with your own passion. And when people understand this message I'm trying to put across, stop expecting, oh, well, there's no, you know, this job pays a lot of money. If I go do whatever, whatever X, Y, Z, Oh, I'll never make as much money. It doesn't fucking matter. Do what you love because it's going to change your life dramatically in a positive way and make you a happy person. Life is always good when you're a happy person. So do the things that make you fucking happy. Forget about the money. Money is just a tool. And it's actually a tool that's been used to repress us and and program us into thinking we need more and we need things that we have to get money to get these things. It's all bullshit. It's one of the main systems of control that exists in our society today. And believe me, they've created the system on purpose very consciously so people are so busy making that money to try and buy happiness, they'll never actually find happiness and fulfillment and spiritual, genuine joy. They don't want us to have that because then we don't want to go work in a fucking factory. Then we'll be like, fuck that factory. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be happy and find another way. That's the, the enslavement that's happened to humanity, and that's what we got to get out of, and that's why this message is so fucking important. Yeah, if anybody hears the message, then consider yourself very lucky because uh, it will be a long time until everyone gets to hear this message. So you could be some of the first enlightened people that actually are able to break out of their jobs and and do what they love for for 24 hours a day and be fully content while there's still garbage men picking up your trash. That's the and thing. Still people. That's the that thing. Aren't, that's that's aren't the woke yet. That, yeah, well there's the message is growing, believe me. There's so many people, you know, there, it's really out there. It's out there and people just have to listen and and start tuning into the to the message which is which is just universal truth. Um, but it's such it's such an amazing thing to think about. Like it doesn't matter what your job is. It doesn't fucking matter. You could have the shittest job on the fucking planet, cleaning toilets or whatever. But if you really get into it and go, you know what? Okay, I'm cleaning toilets. This is shit. But you know what? It's funny how shit this is. I'm gonna make jokes about it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy. I'm alive. Then I'm free and I can do what I want to. And you know what? I'm gonna go do this other thing I love and I'm gonna put my fucking passion into it. And I'm gonna become an amazing motherfucker who's passionate about what he does uh, when he's not cleaning shit. And I bet you it's not going to be that long before your frequency is so high and you're, so, you're, you're full of so much joy. Cleaning toilets is just going to be so out of alignment. It's just going to shift into something else. It's going to happen. It, and especially yeah. when you're like, I don't care if I clean shit. I'm a happy motherfucker and I, I have a great life and I have great friends and people love me. When you're in that state cleaning shit and you don't even mind you're cleaning shit, you won't be cleaning shit for long. I promise you that. You won't. Yeah. But if you're obsessed, oh, God, my job sucks. Oh, man, all I do is clean. Yeah, because you're saying to the universe... You know, you're focusing on this lesson of your cleaning shit and you're just focused on that you're being obsessed with it. Good. You're going to keep getting that because that's all you're thinking about is the fact that you clean shit. Well, you're going to keep cleaning shit then. And as soon as you put your, your, your intention on your joy and your passion and what you love, more of that's coming your way and the cleaning shit job's just going to just, just going to disappear. That's how it works. Yeah, it's incredibly true. And if you just go out and get tanked Friday night till Sunday, Friday night till Monday morning, you're just completely out of it because you're drink in to escape these issues exactly exactly people have, they're not happy and they're fucking escape they're taking the easy way out they're, rather than rather than going a bit deeper and going okay let's find out uh-huh. what i love let's really make some changes let's get healthier let's get good in the butt fuck it let's do the best we can in the situation no let's gonna get drunk and do some drugs and just kind of you know have a bit of fun escape from it and then go back to keep let's keep the shitty life but use you know drugs and booze and other uh, distractions to dull the pain this is what i was doing in my life i was dulling the pain 
you know, this childhood fucking horrific pain, uh, adult pain by going out, all right, I'm going to pick up chicks, you know, I'm going to bang all these girls, that's going to make me feel better. Yeah, temporarily, but I was still that lost fucking kid in pain, desperately trying to connect with women so they would love me like my mother never did. And, and, and it only got me so far, you know? So, so take, be a fucking warrior. Take the fucking hard road. Take the fucking hard road. Get into your pain. Deal with that shit. Deal with your issues. Get into self, real self-development because you love yourself and you want to develop yourself. Go through that shit, right? Stop the drugs. Stop the fucking alcohol. Go into the pain. Deal with the pain. Figure out who you are. Figure out your passion in life and then go live that shit, okay? That's what it comes down to. Take the fucking step. Decide right now. Right now, decide to take, to take control of your life and just fucking do the work and build the life you want. Manifest exactly what you want. Do not get out of this fucking trap. The whole system is a trap. It's fucking bullshit. It's all set up to trap you so, you're, so you just don't do the work. You don't fucking heal yourself so you're wounded and you're hurt and you're lost and you just spend your money to try and feel better. Fuck that. It's the old system. It's dying. Everyone knows it's fucking dying. Everyone that hears this message and knows it's true has to do this shift. And the more of us do this shift, the more people see that and go, fuck it. If he can do it, I can do it. And then we're all going to do it. And what happens when everybody's living their joy and they're happy? How much war is there going to be? How much hunger? How None of it. It's all going away now. It's over. This old system is fucking dying and it's dying so fast and you can't stop it because it's the ultimate truth. Everything I'm saying here, if it resonates with you, it's because you're tapped in enough to reality, the real reality, not the one we're presented, real reality, that everything, that we're all one and everything is joy and love and that's actually the frequency of existence. If you're tapped in even fucking 10% to that message, you know this is true. It resonates as true and all you have to do now is start taking the action. Start living it rather than just going, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Do it. Do it. That's, is, that's all there is to it. You have, there's so much help. There's so many YouTube videos. There's so many spiritual teachers. There's so many, everything. It's all there for you right now. You, you, no, there is no excuse not to do it. There's no excuse mm -hmm. not to do it. It's, there's never been a time like this before where all the information is there. Everything you could ever, 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 ever need to get the tools, the wisdom to go and build a life you want, it's all there for you. There is no excuse. If you're sitting there listening to this right now going, fuck, yeah, but, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. There is no but. You can do anything you want. All the information is there. You just need to get your fucking ass off the fucking couch. Turn the TV off. Stop drinking. Stop the fucking drugs. Stop the porn. Stop fucking jerking off all the time. And go and fucking build the life you want. Raise your frequency. Drop the fear. Get into the love. That is the ultimate truth. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. Love is all there is. You ask any of the yogis, anyone who's having near-death experience, anyone who's done ayahuasca, San Pedro, any of the fucking people who've been writing, you know, the, the greatest spiritual wisdom that's been around for thousands of years, there is only one truth. It's all fucking love. And all the fear-based stuff about there's not enough, hatred, blah, 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 all that shit. It's bullshit. It's just shit to keep us down so we become fucking slaves and we work and try and make this money crap to try and make us happy. It doesn't work. It's a lie. It's all a lie. And you know it's a lie. Wake the fuck up and start living your life fully. It's all fucking bullshit and you know it. There's only one truth. It's love. It's oneness. That's what's happening. And this is what's, ha this is what's taking over the planet right now. And it's not going to stop. The ultimate truth that we're talking about cannot be stopped because it is what it is. It is everything. It is oneness. It is God. It is universal intelligence. It cannot be stopped. It will not be stopped. This is the time for humanity to rise up and become what we are. And it's happening. The only question is, are you going to sit back and watch it happen to millions of other people? Or do you want to be one of the first? Do you want to be in on it early? Do you want to be one of the leaders? And you start fucking living it and become an example for others. So they're like, fuck it. I'm going to do it too. Which one? You're going to wake up eventually. You want to do it in five years? You want to do it in 10 years? You want to be doing it in 20 years? Or you want to die and then reincarnate, maybe do it in your next life? Up to you. It's up to you. You're going to do it eventually. But why not choose right now? literally right now because you can do it right now or you can do it some other time but there is only right now and whenever you do it it's gonna be in the now because there's only one moment now so fucking do it now see i told you it was juicy now the only way to get access to the full clip is to be in the infinite man academy speaking of which this Sunday, me and Ryan Black, we're doing a live cast where we're going to go through the absolutely top, most inspirational, most mind-altering clips 
dissecting them, sharing the wisdom. It's going to be great. I'm super stoked. So grab a pen, grab a paper, bring your brain, put those together and change your reality. I'm very, very excited. And this Sunday, not only can you learn and grow, we'll also reveal how you can join us inside the Infinite Man Academy. I cannot wait to see you there. Till then.